Shalom, I'm your brother Jeremiah from the branch of GMS South Carolina Millens. Lord, will this be edifying? Before I start off, all praise, all honor, and all glory belongs to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakodash. Once again, all praise, all honor, and all glory belongs to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who teach and rule well, the true leaders of Israel, in whom we learned his truth. And Shalom to the hopeful elect, scattered abroad, wherever you may be. Lord, will this be edifying through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And I got a quick video, man. <clears throat> you know, through the spirit, you know, we we ready to leave this place, man. We ready to get out of Babylon. We ready to be delivered. By Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shiloh, will we be a part of that hopeful elect? Okay. Because this video I'm about to play is very vexing to the spirit of the hopeful elect. You know, if you're in the right spirit, you should be vexed. Okay. And this right here, man, this is just one major reason why Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai is going to destroy this place, America. Okay. And destroy every wicked person that 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 walks in this energy. Okay, so I'm gonna play the video. I'm gonna get some precepts and Lord will this be edifying through the spirit and the power of the Alba Hashem Yahweh Shai. Signing a sex to the baby. DC is forcing me to label myself as the mother, and that's not the case. But Drona is the mother. This whole birth certificate thing is is really. A Really causing me a lover. Oh, I here. Video then cuts to the quote unquote mother, a biological male, attempting to feed a human child with his chest. Now, this is not going to work because it turns out the biological males do not have milk ducts. Not only are we not assigning a sex to the baby, DC. So you got two grown niggas, all right, trying to feed a baby. With, with, with breasts that they do not have. Alright. This is a, a major reason. Why Yahweh Shimei Shai is about to destroy this place. Okay. So let me go ahead and get in the scriptures man. The book of 2 Peter. The second chapter in the sixth verse. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. Condemned them with an overthrow. Okay, and that's what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai did with Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding cities. He destroyed it by fire and brimstone. So how much more is he about to do to America and any other place that condones this type of behavior? Okay, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes. That's exactly what this place is going to be. America is going to be ashes. When Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is done judging this place. Condemned them with an overthrow. Making them an example. And sample. Unto those that after should live ungodly. Is not America following in the footsteps of Sodom and Gomorrah? Is not sodomy promoted here in this wicked kingdom? So Sodom and Gomorrah was an example. On what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh will do. To any other nation that follows in these footsteps. And America comes right along and promotes this. And, and gives them rights. Okay. Give them more rights than the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today. The Israelites of today. Okay. So what you think Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is about to do to this place. Okay. And I said earlier, you know, if you're in the right spirit, you should be vexed. Okay. That was a vexation to watch that, to even hear it. Of verse 7, it says, And delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. Each and every day we got to wake up and see this filth, okay? And we got to hear this filth being pushed all throughout the planet Earth. Even going as far as pushing it onto the kids, alright? It pushed this wicked agenda uh, in, the, in, the, in the movies, they push this wicked agenda in the shows that the kids watch. This place has to be destroyed. That's the only answer. 
And for any any man or woman walking in this type of energy, they must be destroyed. Okay? So let me get another thing, man. Let's go to the book of Leviticus, the 20th chapter. Let's go to the law. Because the only answer for this type of behavior is for these men and these women to be put to death. And eventually, Yahweh Shema Shai, he's going to get to the root of the problem, which is the wicked Esau, Edom, the so-called white man of today, the devil that the Bible speaks of. The Lord is going to get to the root of the problem, Esau, Edom. Okay. But let's go ahead and read this. Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So that's, that's, the, that's the reward for walking in this type of energy. And that's the reward that Yahweh Shem Shai is coming to reward them with. Alright? He's about to judge the whole planet Earth. Okay? And he's about to redeem his elect, the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof, Ezekiel 9 and 4. And he's about to destroy the wicked, okay? Start with the so-called white man, okay? And any other two-third Israelite Jake that want to follow the so-called white man and his agenda, okay? So I'm going to read it back, Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, whether it's a man and a man or a woman and a woman, let's read their reward. Both of them shall surely be put to death. They have, uh, Salakia. Both of them have committed an abomination, Salakia. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. That's the reward of them that want to walk in this 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 lewd behavior. Okay? The Lord is not dealing with this. And the only reason this goes on is because the earth, Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, which is the so-called white man of today. Alright? And they are the border of wickedness, wickedness going back to Malachi 1 and 4. Alright? And the, the Lord set these wicked devils up, okay? And the Lord is about to take these wicked devils out of power, all right? So just want to get one more thing. Let's go to the book of Proverbs. Uh, let's go to the book of Proverbs, chapter 29 and verse 16. The book of Proverbs, chapter 29 and verse 16, it reads, when the wicked are multiplied, transgression increaseth, okay? And right now we have the, the wicked in rulership, okay? And they are multiplied throughout the earth. They control basically the whole world, the whole earth, Job 9 and 24. And that's why you see all this wickedness that's being promoted, okay? All this wickedness that's being performed throughout the planet earth, okay? Because the wicked... Is multiplied. They're in rulership right now. When the wicked are multiplied, transgression increase, increaseth. But the righteous shall see their fall. The elect is the righteous right now. And we're waiting for these devils to be taken out of power. We're tired of seeing this shit. We're tired of seeing all this wickedness going throughout the planet Earth. Now let me get Leviticus 20 and 13 in the NLT. Just to just to uh break it down, okay, and you and it, and then then the crazy part about it, you even have pastors, pastors, heads of church, churches, okay, that will allow, they will allow these wicked, filthy men and women into the church, all right, as if as if they're not going off, okay. Leviticus 20.13 in the NLT, if a man practices homosexuality, having sex with another man as with a woman, both men have committed a detestable act. They must both be put to death, for they are guilty of capital offense. 
So the Lord, he's not going to allow this type of behavior to go on forever. Okay? And that's why the elect were sighing and crying. Okay? For all the abominations. This is an abomination, man. Let me play that. You ain't even got to play the whole thing. Only are we not assigning a sex to the baby. DC is forcing me to label myself as the mother. They ain't even going to assign a sex to the baby, man. Let's say if the baby comes out as a as a boy, they're not going to assign him a boy. If the baby comes out as a girl, they're not going to assign it a girl, man. They got a term called um, non-binary. Non That's an abomination, man. The Lord created man and woman, okay? Not no damn non-binary, okay? That's why Esau eat him. He got to go, man. He got to go. Because Yahweh Shem Yahweh he is a balanced power and he did not create us to go go off in this wicked behavior. Proverbs 11 and 1, a false balance is abomination of Yahweh Shem, uh, abomination to Yahweh Shem Yahweh but a just weight is his delight. So for a man and a woman to get together as Yahweh Shem Yahweh intended it to be, that's a just weight, that's a delight unto the Lord. Because they're going to ultimately walk in his commandments, be fruitful and multiply, and bring forth more children. Okay? But this type of behavior is nothing but death. Alright? Example. You put a man and a man on, on the same island. Or you put a woman and a woman on the same island. That's going to be the last generation of that man. That's going to be the last generation of those women. Okay? Because it's nothing. That's, that's death behavior. There's no life that's going to come from that. All right? So that's a false ba balance, and that's an abomination to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So the Lord is about to judge this place. You know, as we read in 2 Peter, the second chapter, started the sixth verse, you know, making it and making Sodom and, and Gomorrah an example. Let's get something real quick, because this place, America, is known as spiritually Sodom and Egypt. Revelation 11 and 8, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. Their dead bodies is going to the Israelites, okay, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans of today, which are, which, uh, they were spiritually dead here, okay, but the elect is being rose up through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, and that great city is talking about America, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. All right, nothing but sodomy is being promoted here, and this is the land of our captivity. All right, where also our Lord was crucified. So they took all the law, statutes, and commandments out of this wicked kingdom. They even set up their own image in in the placement of our Lord. This place gotta go. All right, Yahweh Shem Shai has to destroy this place. That's the only answer for America. Okay, the whore that sitteth upon the beast. Okay, so let me uh, continue in these scriptures. You know, I'm not trying to get carnal out here. Second Edges, uh fifteen and five and, uh, and five. It says, "Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction." That's what Yahweh Shem Shai is about to bring to this place. Let me run it back. Second Edges 15, 5. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Okay? The modern day sword is the gun. The, uh, the ultimate sword is the missile, that thermonuclear fire. That's how it's going to take America out, by thermonuclear fire. Okay? And, and, and he's going to get a lot of people by way of famine. Which we're in a looming famine. It's going to intensify. It's going to manifest before our eyes. Okay. And, and, and death. The Lord can take you out in many different ways. Okay. And destruction. Alright. Let's read why. Verse 6. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth. And their hurtful works are fulfilled. This wicked agenda of the alphabet gang is promoted throughout the whole earth man. And in this place, man, wickedness has to be uprooted out of the earth. The root of the problem, Esau, Edom. All right? 
It says, verse 7, Therefore saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit, neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. So going back to the men that sigh and that cry, the souls of the just complain t continually, the elect, they're not giving this place no rest. Going back to Isaiah uh, uh, 64. Or, uh, let me see. Let me make sure I got that correct. Because I don't want to lead nobody astray. But, you know, going back to the book of Isaiah, they're giving, the, the elect is giving this place no rest. And the souls of the just complain continually, as we just read, man. Let me make sure I got this right. <clears throat> it's in the book of Isaiah. 62 and 6 it says i have set watchmen upon thy walls o jerusalem talk to the nation of israel which shall neither hold their peace day nor night okay the prophets they the uh going out on the highways and the byways week in and week out the uploading the videos week in and week out okay they're giving you how about shim shy no rest which shall never hold their peace day nor night Ye that make mention of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, keep not silence. And that's the prophets, man. That's a, that is a commandment. Keep not silence. It says, I have, uh, verse 7, And give him no rest till he establish, and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. So we are instructed to give the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem, in the name Yahweh Shai, no rest until he sets Jerusalem up and make us a praise in the earth, man. We're not complacent with this wicked-ass kingdom, man. All right? According to the scriptures, man, we look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Let me get that, and I'll end it on that, man. It's in the book of Second Peters. And there's more that can be brought out, but, you know, that's what I had on my spirit to bring out through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Shema Shah. I pray, and I hope that it is edifying. Apologies for my French, but uh, sorry, not sorry, okay? Uh, 2 Peter 3, and uh, uh, I'll start at verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, the Lord is about to destroy this place. What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Most High. We're, we're looking for you, how about Shem Shai, and we're hastening it, okay? It says, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So Esau, Edom's rulership, man, this place is about to go up in flames, you know, as it is written, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, in 2nd Edges 6 and 9, 2nd Peter 3, uh, and 13, here's the point. Nevertheless, we, that's talking about the elect, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth. So we're looking for a new rulership and, and the earth to be refreshed, okay? Wherein dwelleth righteousness. It's going to be, it's going to dwelleth righteousness because the, the elect, all right? Starting with our Lord, Yahweh Shai, the nation of Israel is going to come into power. All right, start with our Lord Yahweh Shai first and foremost. Okay, so I pray and I hope that this was edifying unto the elect of the nation of Yahshua. Allah had to get that off my chest, man. This place is about to be destroyed. Continue to sigh and cry uh, to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and give him no rest until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Pray and hope this was edifying. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shallow one.